hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes today we're going to do a full moon spread on what to release for this upcoming full moon let me know if you guys like these videos by giving it a thumbs up and i will incorporate these into the schedule every month this full moon specifically is intended to help those who are going through a spiritual awakening or transformation process this full moon is going to be in the sign of Pisces, which is connected to intuition, okay, um, spirituality. It's also connected to deep emotions. Pisces is a water sign, so emotions are definitely involved in that, okay? My intention for this reading, Pis Pisces, for Gemini, this is a Gemini reading, and this, the intention that's going to be set for this reading, Gemini, is how to allow this transformation to come forward okay what you need to release in order to continue this transformation journey so let's dive right into the energies guys there is not going to be an extended version to these readings it's all going to be here on youtube however you are more than welcome to check out the extended readings for the other readings that I've done for this month to get entered into the drawing. So let's see here, Gemini, what we can see for you guys for this upcoming full moon. Please and thank you. What does Gemini need to see, Spirit, for this full moon energy? We're going to look into what's hidden, what's no longer serving you, Gemini, and where this is all headed. We'll also pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. We're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, Gemini. Okay. It's hidden here, Gemini, Knight of Swords energy. I feel here this transformation process, this change, what you need to release is actually going to happen quicker than you think. I feel here, Gemini, you may be, ha you may be isolating yourself. Okay. Isolating yourself from people, from loved ones, from... And I feel here your intentions are in a positive place. But it's get, it gets lonely in this place of isolation. Okay, now we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, Gemini. I do feel like you, you are very guarded. You are very... I feel like you're guarding your heart. There's an energy of not wanting to get hurt again, okay? I feel like the more you open up, okay, the more you let one person or another person in closer emotionally, the more that you'll find you'll feel freer, okay? There won't be these intrusive thoughts that you're having at this time. So let's clarify the Knight of Swords energy for Gemini. Clarifying the Knight of Swords energy for Gemini. Please and thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. What I feel here, Gemini, is you've kind of been ignoring your intuition. I also feel some of you may be quick-witted with your tongue, okay? So you need to be mindful of what you say or how you say it, okay? I do feel like you are in this position of needing to be mindful of what you say, Gemini, okay? By isolating yourself, by keeping yourself closed off, by keeping yourself in this position of pause, contemplation, trying to get clear on your path. For some of you with these cards coming out, you may very well be on a spiritual journey, right? A spiritual healing journey, okay? Spirituality is definitely involved uh, in this journey that you're embarking on, Gemini. But 
I feel by you isolating yourself, not interacting with people, um, always having your guard up, it's not allowing you to fully connect with spirit. You're not fully in tune with your intuition, your soul self, because you need to get out and connect with people. How are you going to know what people want? What people enjoy I feel here Gemini you may have been working on your own stability something having to do with business finances maybe some of you had a disruption or you had to get back on your feet but I feel Gemini that you're in this place of stability you're finding your footing at this time okay there's no more isolating no more isolating okay gemini getting into a self-care routine is going to be important okay and for instance for myself personally i take some time every month every month every week on sunday it's self-care sunday so i take that time with myself on sunday to just spend even just one hour of that day resting rejuvenating doing the things that i enjoy Okay, every week I do that. Self-care Sunday, I call it. Take some time every week and spend some time with yourself, Gemini. Okay, um, getting into these self-care routines. Routines are going to be crucial, especially if you're working on some sort of business venture. Having those routines are going to be important. Doesn't mean that you're always going to uphold the routine, but having a routine in place, it's like muscle memory. It'll help you to get right back into the swing of things quicker. Okay. So let's get some advice guidance moving forward here. Gemini, if you're finding that this message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. Gemini, I feel like you are headed in a positive direction. Okay, you're on the right path for sure. A lot of you have gone through some deep, deep healing, some dark places in your life and, and you're coming to terms with shadow. Okay, so you're really understanding yourself completely as a whole. I feel like you are going to find positivity coming from this Gemini. Okay, there's going to be a lot of positive things, successes abundance joy happiness the sun energy i feel here that's exactly where you're headed okay um so understanding that you're needing to have routines because things are going to be picking up things are going to be taking off very swiftly and by having those routines in place already it sets you up with a solid foundation And get a positive blessing for Gemini for this full moon. Gemini, it's time to get out, explore, meet new people, try new things. Even if it may feel uncomfortable, little, little baby steps, okay? A little at a time is going to help you transition, okay? My life works beautifully. Everything in my life works now and forevermore. Beautiful, Gemini, beautiful. So, Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste. Hello, Gemini and cross watchers. Thank you guys for continuing to watch little extended portion I've added to these videos to channel in what astrological signs are coming in um, and more messages. First off, Gemini, I just wanted to add part of your healing process is definitely in isolation. Okay, it's taking time getting clear on that path, you know, getting back in alignment with that vision. But the next step after that is getting out there. Okay, because there's time for reflection and there's time for action. OK, 
Okay, I feel like you're being called to take some action at this time, Gemini. The astrological signs that we see present, we have air energy, we have Virgo, Pisces, Earth energy, Gemini, you're coming out in your reading, which is beautiful. We also have Leo with the sun. I'm not sure if I said Pisces, but we have Pisces with the high priestess, which is understandable because this is a Pisces full moon. Take your time with this energy, Gemini. I know you've taken a lot of time. A lot of Gemini readings up to this point have been about isolating, taking some time going within. It's time to get out there. It's time to meet new people, try new things. Here's here's a, a good starting point, okay? Find a new hobby, something that you've been wanting to try, something that I've been interested in personally is pottery. I want to learn how to do pottery just to kind of relax and put my mind somewhere else. Um, what I recommend is getting yourself out there, taking a pottery class, um, looking into a, the community aspects of where you can enjoy this pottery business, if that's something you're interested in. Now, maybe that's not your thing, Gemini, maybe for you it's something else. Um, but I recommend just getting out there, putting yourself out there, joining a class, um, doing things on your own, enjoying your your journey on your own is going to be key here, okay? You can still do things by yourself and not be in isolation, okay? So, Gemini, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.